Woody Harrelson's Saturday Night Live monologue makes COVID conspiracy jokes, by Katie Rell, Woody Harrelson is under fire for referencing his controversial stance on vaccination and the COVID-19 pandemic in his opening monologue of the February 25th episode of Saturday Night Live. The actor, who took to the stage for his fifth time as SNL host, proceeded to ramble off a story that all hinged around the craziest script he's ever read. After several minutes of getting distracted talking about smoking weed, drinking and what kind of tree he was sitting under, the actor describes the aforementioned script. So the movie goes like this, Harrelson explains. The biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes. And people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs and keep taking them over and over. I threw the script away, Harrelson continued. I mean, who is going to believe that crazy idea? Being forced to do drugs? I do that voluntarily all day. A few online viewers took to Twitter shortly after the live broadcast, torching the sketch show for airing the monologue, thank you, NBCSNL, for Woody Harrelson's insipid anti-vax monologue, producer Lee Goldberg posted. Who are going to have guest host next week, Scott Adams? Comedian and podcast host Ashley Ray questioned whether this was planned out or off the cuff. The champion star has previously been pinned to a slew of conspiracy theories related to the coronavirus pandemic. In an interview with Vanity Fair he called the mask wearing absurd and explained that he hasn't gotten COVID because he's internally clean. He also posted and later deleted an Instagram post that accused the 5G networks for spreading COVID. In the past, Saturday Night Live has been publicly COVID-conscious, choosing to film out the quarantine season from inside their cast members' homes. SNL at Home was even hosted by Tom Hanks, who coined the five-timers club term, another joke Harrelson told throughout his hosting gig. And when they returned to 30 Rock, several cast members opted to film their opening credit sequence with a mask. In spite of his remarks, Harrelson was honored with his SNL five-timers club jacket at the end of the episode, presented to him by frequent host and two-time Oscar nominee Scarlett Johansson.